Happy Friday and welcome to another Mathematician for Mastery. Today we're actually going to use a set of slides that was put together from students from a couple of years ago, which I think is fun. And at some point, maybe I'll have you guys work on putting together some mathematician slides for me too. That'd be great. So these guys decided to choose Archimedes, who was one of our ancient Greek guys. So he was born in 287 BC in Syracuse, Sicily. Um, he died in 212. He made it to 75, which for back then was, you know, pretty good age. Greek, um, he's famous for accu accurately calculating pi. So this was back when they were doing geometry and working on all that. Archimedes was a great mathematician, born in Syracuse. He is revered as one of the three greatest mathematicians of all time, alongside Carl Gauss and Sir Isaac Newton. Archimedes focused primarily on the discipline of geometry, and he was also a renowned inventor and engineer. On his own, Archimedes continued to study geometry and science and the principles of mechanics and made major contributions to these disciplines as an understanding of specific gravity, hydrostatics, and buoyancy, along with ingenious everyday applications of the use of the lever and the pulley. It's weird to think that these things that we've kind of had around for what feels like forever had to come from somewhere. Like, they were invented at some point, and a lot of stuff, especially our geometry stuff that we still study today, came from ancient Greece. He created formulations for such mathematical accomplishments as a formula to measure the area of a circle. This was done using a system he created called using infinitesimals. This is quite similar to modern day integral calculus. So, you know, there you go. Archimedes also created a formula that enabled him to determine the volume of a solid or the volume of an item of irregular shape. Additionally, he was able to discover the precise value of pi and create a formula for determining the volume of a sphere. His formulas are still in use today, which I think is pretty cool. We are, I mean, we're at like almost 200, 2,500 years old formulas and we're still using them today. That's pretty impressive. Um, there are a lot of anecdotal stories about Archimedes. They paint him as an absent-minded professor who did things like dash out of the house naked shouting, Eureka! I have found it upon discovering the principle of buoyancy while lowering himself into his bath. <laughs> Again, it's anecdotal, meaning it probably didn't happen, but it's a nice story. Of his death in 2212 BC, it is said that Archimedes was busy working out formulas in the sand of his study, completely oblivious to the war raging outside. A Roman soldier entered the study, messing up Archimedes' drawings in the sand. Archimedes rebuked the soldier who did not recognize him and ran him through with a sword. Again, it's anecdotal, so it may not have happened. It was a long time ago. This was against the orders of the Roman king who had wanted the great thinker to be spared. Uh, he apologized to and the king apologized to and befriended Archimedes' family members following his death and arranged for a fine burial ceremony and tomb. So there you go. Another mathematician. Those ancient Greeks met some interesting ends, didn't they? If you remember Hypatia. Um, so good times, Archimedes. <laughs> 